friends our today's topic is amino acids so the first question is that what are amino acids amino acids as the name suggests they are composed of one amino group and the second carboxylic acid group they are composed of one amino group and the second is carboxylic acid group so basically these are the building blocks of proteins and amino acids are together contain amino and acidic group total 20 amino acids are required to synthesize protein in human beings amino acids are joined together by polypeptide together by peptide bonds the peptide bonds can be formed in continuation manner so we can get a long polypeptide chains and the very long polypeptide chains are to be considered as proteins so basically amino acids are the deriv are derivatives of methane that is we have a methane molecule here what is the derivatives of methane we have a methane molecule now this is carbon hydrogen 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 and hydrogen this hydrogen is replaced by nh2 that is amino group this hydrogen is replaced by carboxylic acid group that is a acid and this hydrogen is replaced by any other functional group and this hydrogen is placed as it is so these are the derivatives of methane amino acids are the derivatives of methane for example histidine glycine aspartic acid this is also the basic or the general formula of amino acids now we will talk about the classification and uh, the structure of amino acids okay now the classification of amino acids on the basis of nature of molecule so on the basis of nature of molecule we have three types of amino acids that are neutral acidic and basic amino acids so first one is neutral amino acid neutral amino acid we can say uh, amino acid is neutral in nature if it contains equal amount of amino and equal amount of acidic content so it is neutral in nature neutral in nature but if the amino acid contains the more amount of carboxylic acid groups or the large number of carboxylic acid groups so it is acidic in nature that is acidic groups are uh, larger or greater in number so it is acidic in nature and if the amino content is greater than acidic content so it is basic in nature for example the neutral the example for neutral amino acid is glycine glycine that is a neutral amino acid acidic the example of acidic amino acidic amino acid is aspartic acid and the third one is basic the example of basic amino acid is lysine and arginine arginine okay the second classification is on the basis of the requirement of amino acids on the basis of requirement on the basis of requirement we have two types of amino acids basically two types of amino acids that are essential amino acids and non essential amino acids non essential amino acids so we have essential amino acids and non essential amino acids essential amino acids are those they must be present in our diet because they cannot be synthesized by our body so we have to take them in our diet example tryptophan 
नॉन एसेंशियल अमीनो एसिड दे कैन बी सिंथेसाइज बाई आर बॉडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्लूटामिक एसिड एलोनिन सो वी डोंट हैव एनी नीड टू टेक दैम थ्रू आर डाइट द थर्ड कैटेगरी ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट वी हैव दैट इज सेमी एसेंशियल सेमी एसेंशियल अमीनो एसिड्स दीज सेमी एसेंशियल अमीनो एसिड्स आर रिक्वायर्ड ओनली इन ग्रोथ टाइम्स और ग्रोथ पीरियड्स ग्रोथ पीरियड्स और दे आर रिक्वायर्ड ड्यूरिंग लैक्टेशन ड्यूरिंग लैक्टेशन टाइम सो दीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज सेमी एसेंशियल अमीनो एसिड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल हिस्टोडीन एग्जाम्पल हिस्टोडीन सो दीज आर द थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ अमीनो एसिड दैट इज एसेंशियल नॉन एसेंशियल एंड सेमी एसेंशियल नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर जनरल स्ट्रक्चर एंड सम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमीनो एसिड as i already told you that amino acids are the derivatives of methane so now let's study the structure of amino acids first draw a structure of methane we have a molecule of methane now if we replace this hydrogen by amino group replace this hydrogen by carboxylic acid group this hydrogen is placed as it is and this hydrogen is replaced by any other functional group so this is the structure of general amino acid any general amino acid is having this type of structure but if we talk about the complexity or the formation of new amino acids so this is this functional group if if this functional group is replaced by another hydrogen so this is the simplest amino acid named as glycine glycine this is the structure of glycine this hydrogen if is replaced by a methyl group that is ch3 then it is named as alanine then it is named as alanine and if this hydrogen is replaced by any other functional group or we can say the ch2oh if it is replaced by ch2oh then it is named as serine serine so the name or the structure of amino acids is depend upon this functional group and if we have more number of amino groups than amino acid is basic in nature if we have more number of carboxylic acid or acidic groups then amino acid is acidic in nature and if the amino acid and carboxylic acid or acidic groups are same in content then the amino acid is neutral in nature so these were some structures of amino acids now we will talk about some other topics zwitterine zwitterion what is zwitterion a molecule or ion having separate positively and negatively charged groups for example if we have uh, i mean if we have i mean an amino acid that is carboxylic acid group amino group hydrogen or any other functional group so if we we'll say we have Uh, another hydrogen or proton here and it acquires a positive charge if this carboxylic acid group loses one hydrogen and acquires negative charge now this amino acid contains one positive charge and one negative charge so the amount of charge is equal that is one positive charge and one is negative charge we have a group amino group having positive charge and the second group that is carboxylic acid group contains negative charge so a molecule or ion having separate positively and neg negatively charged groups is called a zwitterion 
so this amino acid contains two groups that contains positive and negative charge separately so it can be considered as or it can be called as zwitter ion all zwitter ions are present in this form or in this manner these are called zwitter ions okay okay now we will talk about the formation of peptide bonds so let's consider we have an amino acid hydrogen and other functional group the second I mean we have another amino acid the expanded form of amino group this is the expanded form of amino group that is NH2 any other functional group now how the peptide bond is formed so we have two two groups that is carboxylic acid groups and amino group the peptide bond is formed between the carboxylic acid group and amino group so the H and O2 of this carboxylic acid group and the 1H of this amino groups are joined together and forms a molecule of water that is liberated out forms a molecule of H2O and the bond between carbon and nitrogen is formed basically the bond is formed between carboxylic acid and amino group so they from carboxylic acid the H 1H and 2 oxygen and from amino group only single hydrogen is takes place to form is to form a peptide bond this is how a peptide bond is formed these peptide bonds are formed in continuation so we can get long peptide chains or we can say the long polypeptide chains if uh, these long very long polypeptide chains are termed as proteins